Why are five gram gold bars so underrated? Hello future investors and welcome back to another weekly episode. I hope you're all doing very well and I hope all of your investment goals are going to plan. Now today I am going to be talking about gold bars but more specifically five gram gold bars. Now when it comes to gold bullion there is a vast arrangement of options to pick. You can pick gold coins, gold bars, sovereigns, Britannias, Krugerrands, commemorative edition pieces, or more bespoke one-off pieces. There are so many options to choose from, but the option that I find people often leave out the most and don't talk about is actually five gram gold bars. Beautiful piece, just like the one we've got here. This is a five gram gold bar from the Royal Mint. This was in fact the very first five gram gold bar I ever bought, and I absolutely love it. It just was uh, a real excitement for me to really get my first ever big gold bar. When I say big, I'd only ever really stacked one gram gold bar. So moving up to a five gram gold bar, it was pretty substantial at the time, especially for a new investor. Now, I roughly paid around £250 for this bar back in, I believe it was 2020. And now I just had a look on the Royal Mint and to buy the same bar as this, you're going to be paying at least £293. So that is a nice little profit in the meantime, while I have solely been uh, hedging against inflation by keeping that £250 invested in this bar. Now, why are gold bars so underrated? Well, it's a good question. I think gold bars are very popular and it certainly shows when I do an episode on future investments regarding one gram gold bars or five gram gold bars because they always tend to do very well. And I can totally understand why. Gold bars are very synonymous. They, they give me that wow factor that maybe sometimes coins don't. And normally they come in these beautiful assay cards. And for me, that just tends to make the specific precious metal a little bit more, a little bit more official, I would say. And it just makes it seem larger. It gives it a bigger presence. And it's just nicer in general. Now, five gram gold bars, yeah, they're a, they're a good option to pick, but not everyone necessarily chooses to pick them first. Why is that? Well, I have to say it's probably down to the reason that people firstly want to go for the benefits of coins such as Britannias and sovereigns for the benefits of being capital gains tax exempt. There is a really nice incentive to the fact that Britannias and sovereigns in the coin form are capital gains tax exempt. So it really does entice people a lot more. And that's totally understandable because when you're stacking or investing in anything, be it index funds, property, or precious metals, such as gold and silver bullion, you're always looking to get the best deal for your money because at the end of the day, that's what investing is all about. However, having said that, sometimes I think people do overlook bars even though they're not capital gains tax exempt. Now, a reason for that has to be that you can still buy and sell gold bars without paying capital gains tax. There is so many ways around that. You could sell privately in a cash deal. You could uh, sell online. And there is, in fact, a tax threshold limit, so to speak, when it comes to selling gold and silver bullion, that uh, you can easily sell smaller fractional pieces without getting close to that threshold limit. So you don't actually need to pay any capital gains tax. And now not a, lot of, not a lot of people actually know this. It's not really that common knowledge. It is when you get into stacking and you become a bit of a seasoned investor. But when you're new into precious metals, it's quite daunting because there's so many variables. What do you buy? How do you sell them? Do you pay tax? Do you pay VAT? There is so many options to make it slightly confusing. So overall, I do think five gram gold bars and bars in general are a fantastic investment because gold, as we know it, is, in my opinion, the best hedge against inflation. Don't get me wrong, there is other investments out there that will potentially make you much higher returns quicker as well. As we know, gold is not necessarily a quick time thing. Gold tends to perform very well over a very long period. You normally lose out initially on your precious metals investments because you pay premiums. And with that, you then have to hold your, your tangible asset for a long time to firstly outweigh those premiums. And then beyond that, 
it is essentially profit because it is above spot price once the price reaches that essentially so um yeah gold bars i think most season stackers have gold bars in their stack not as much as they would have gold coins such as quarter ounce britannias or maybe one ounce for the reasons that they're capital gains tax exempt and the coins the britannias they do to ha tend to have uh Better security features. You can see here, let's let's give an example. I've got a five gram gold bar here and I've got a quarter ounce gold bullion coin. Now, can you see the differences between the two? I firstly, the first thing I notice is the security differences. Um, of course, the bar is three years older than the coin, but you still do not get some of the features like you do on the coins compared to bars. Now, when we look at this Britannia, you'll know that it's got a little padlock down here and this essentially is a, a way of authenticating the precious metal. You can see it turns from a padlock into the Britannia's trident. There you go, just there. And of course, you've got the brushed waves in the background. makes it very hard to fraudulently copy indeed. Whereas the Britannia bars, they don't tend to have those security features normally. They just have a Britannia feature on it. So there is the benefits of coins over that. So you can see why people do tend to stack coins over bars and it's, it's totally understandable. In my opinion, there's no right or wrong reason. And I always tell people when they ask me, what should I buy? Coins, bars, should I buy one gram? Should I buy quarter, quarter ounce Britannias? Should I buy five grams? Or should I even go all the way up and buy a one ounce Britannia? I really like the saying that it's better to have some gold than no gold. And if you are already investing in precious metals, be it that you've just got one gram gold bars like this, then you're already doing fantastically well. Because again, we know this is not taught in schools. In schools, you are taught to become a employee, not an employer. So the fact that you've already invested into precious metals, whether you're a seasoned stacker or a new stacker, be it bars or coins, you're already on a fantastic track. I only started investing with one gram gold bars. I was very new to it. And it took me a very long time to pluck up the courage to really start delving a lot more capital into this investment we know as tangible bullion, gold and silver. And boy, am I glad I've done so. You can see here, I'm not shy of bars. I've got plenty of gold bars in my stack. I've even got a five gram pump gold bar here, which is a very popular piece. A lot of people like this one. So I am by no means against gold bars. In fact, I'm in favor for them, especially when it comes to fractional gold. I think they're very popular. I think they're very easy to sell. And I love the fact that they normally come in these beautiful cards that authenticate the precious metal very nicely. Now, a lot of you will know who watch the channel regularly, I am stacking Britannia coins more recently because I am trying to really stick as much capital into precious metals as possible. And I'm very aware of the fact that one day I am gonna liquidate my entire stack. And of course, I don't wanna be paying capital gains tax. So that is why I'm buying coins. But I've gotta be honest with you, I think if there were no differences, if bars were also capital gains tax exempt, I probably would only stack bars just because I think they look cooler, I think they look better. And I love the fact that they're in these cards. But I don't think there's a right or wrong answer when it comes to stacking precious metals, be it gold or silver bullion. The two though, silver and gold, there is big differences between the two. I don't think they're fairly, uh, I don't think it's fair to compare the two because one is an asset, as we know, that's a fantastic hedge against inflation. It's extremely secure. Whereas one such as silver is a lot more volatile, but it also has a lot more upside potential as well. So both different in their own rights, but nonetheless both fantastic investments especially if you're trying to hedge against that inflation and preserve and protect your wealth so i hope you enjoyed this episode it is a bit of a, a bit of a topic on five gram gold bars and gold bars in general i'm a big fan of them it seems like you guys are a massive fan of them let me know if you want to see more of them on the channel and if you have any five gram or just gold bars in your stack i would really love to know as always a big shout out to the channel members we've got the stack collector 365 days of silver cy williams mcdonald bullion the silver stacker kw and thank you very much for supporting as always i appreciate your support and until next time i will see you all in the very next episode bye bye guys to watch another episode on future investments Click the link now.